Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Amanda. If you don't know me, I like to whack my microphone, so I'm sorry about that. Um, also known as Mermaid Hair Donut Care on here, TikTok, Instagram. So today, seeing as the new Glamlight Scooby Doo collection is coming out, and by coming out, I mean like. I ordered it already and it should be on its way soon, but I haven't seen anyone like unboxing theirs yet really except for like Michaela, but I'm assuming hers was set in PR. Um, mine has not posted that it's shipped yet, so I'm still waiting for it, but um, if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I do my little like picking out of a takeout container. Um, and I've put so many palettes in there that I've like have new palettes just sitting on my bookshelf since like November or earlier. So in this video, in honor of the Glam Light Scooby Doo collection coming out, I am doing a look from each of the first two Scooby Doo palettes that I have not used yet. I've done swatches, so they do look like they've been touched, but I have not actually done a look with them yet. So I'll be doing a look with each of the new ones, and then I'll be do, doing three looks with the new palette, which I am so excited for because it looks super cute. Um, okay, so the first palette we're going to use is the Retro Raggy palette. Um, I love the colors in this one. They match what I'm wearing, which is exactly why I chose it. They're obviously way brighter. These are like duller colors, more subtle colors. Um, but I'm definitely going to go with either the matte or the shimmer of this color because I feel like one, it matches, and two, it's like one of my favorite colors like ever. It's very limey, and I love me a lime green. Um, and then I'm not quite sure what else I'm going to do. So, um to save on time because otherwise this video would be insanely long i'm just going to show my final looks i'm not sure if just the first two palettes or the um new one as well i guess you will find out shortly um but i just don't want this to be like over an hour long video because I'm doing five looks. So I'm just going to come back with my final look with the Roro Raggy palette. All right, here is the final look. Okay, so there is a lot of fallout and that is definitely 100% my fault because I picked up a lot on my finger and then I remembered that I just wanted like to sheer it out on top of the um, lime green mat. So it's 1000% my fault. I didn't remember what I was planning on doing, but I still think it came out super pretty. So what I did is I took these two shades to create the wing, and then I blended them out with this lime-ish green. Um, and then I put this shimmer on top. So I think it came out super cute. This is also part of my picking out of a hat, picking out of a takeout, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I will be using this palette more, but from first impressions, I love it. And then stay tuned because I have the other um 10 pan, which is the creeps and crawls that I still haven't used, and that one, the color story is stunning and then the new scooby-doo palette that is coming in the mail not sure when but hopefully soon all right see you in like two seconds for look number two hi guys we're back for look number two of my scooby-doo palette or scooby-doo collection series looks either way you should have heard already i'm doing a look with both of the first Scooby-Doo palettes, and then once I get my new Scooby-Doo palette, I will be doing three looks with that. So you should have already seen the look that I did with the Rutro Raggy palette, and then this is the Creeps and Crawls palette. If you haven't seen it, 
this is what it looks like. It is absolutely stunning. Um, if you don't know much about me, my favorite colors are blues and greens and teals and purples. Um, very cool tone. Um, I do love me some other colors as well. I just love color in general. Um, but for the sake of the video, I am not going to be doing tutorials. I'm just going to be coming back with the finished look. So I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. This is the final look. Let me know what you think. Um, I did use six shades. I used this underneath my eye. This is on the outer corner. This is on the inner half of my lid. And then I used... This shimmer, yeah, this shimmer, this shimmer, and this shimmer, and I just kind of did a little bit of like a gradient as best as I could. Um, and then I used two shades from my Blend Bunny Surge palette. I used the shade Chills, this light blue, um, to buff out my lower lash line, and then I used the shade Beckon as my inner corner. I wanted to do like a light, light matte shade. Um, Overall, I absolutely love the color story of this palette. These are my colors. They're my favorite. They match my hair. Um, I absolutely love this color story. Um, it is a little dark. That is the only, not downside, because I like it and I can definitely get some use out of it. It makes my eyes pop, I feel like. Um... And I will, I will definitely get use out of this palette, but this is the only like light shade. Um, so I feel like if I'm not using it as a companion palette or using it along with a companion palette, um, all of my, like every single look is going to have this color purple in it. Um, other than that though, I do absolutely love this palette. So this was look number two out of five. Once I get my um, new Scooby-Doo palette, I will be doing three looks with that. So stay tuned, which should be happening in just about two seconds. All right, guys, welcome back. By this point in time, you should have seen my looks that I did with the other two Scooby-Doo palettes, the Rut Row Raggy palette and the Creeps and Crawls palette. So this is the brand new Scooby-Doo palette. It is stunning. Ooh. Okay, so my first thoughts on this color story at first glance with zero explanation was, holy crap, this color story is all over the place. Like, I don't understand. Um, beautiful. Love the colors. But it was, like, hurting my eyes. And then when they showed that each row was for each character i was like oh my goodness it makes so much sense and now it's not as hard to look at but when i first saw the color story as gorgeous as these colors are the way they're placed is kind of hard to look at so now that i see that sorry now that i see that they're for each character i appreciate it way 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 more and i think it's a really pretty color story and i know some people were hating on the fact that they're so far apart but i feel like it's a design like purpose because they wanted to get each of the characters like faces in there and they needed a little bit more space to do that um so this is going to be my first look out of three that i'm doing with this new palette I am using my Scooby-Doo handheld mirror that was with this collection as well. Um, I did unbox the collection on TikTok if that is something that you are interested in, unless you've seen it all already, um, then you don't need to go watch that unless you would like. And then I'm going to use the brushes too because I want to, although I'm probably going to need some other brushes as well. I have an idea of what I want to do today. So, yeah, I'm going to get started. 
Okay, so I primed my lids with the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, the idea I have for today is using pretty much just the two rows um, for Velma and Daphne. So for whatever reason in my brain, I want to do an orange and red look, but also add purple in. Um, I've been really into like colorful under eye or colorful lower lash line, colorful waterline, all of that kind of shenanigans. I've been really, really, really loving it. So I think that's what I'm going to do and see how it turns out. So I'm going to start off with the orange shade from the Velma row and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm going to buff it out. There's not a whole lot of colors I can use to like blend that out. So I'm going to see if I can blend it out by itself, if that makes sense. I know what I'm trying to say, but it's just I can't form the words. I'm just going to do it. Okay, now I'm going to take the red shade in the Velma row and I'm just going to stick that in my outer corner. And then I'll blend that out with the same brush I just used for the orange. So for the other two palettes, I just kind of did like a reveal of the look that I did. But I figured since this is the newer palette, I would try to go through at least explain a little bit of what I'm doing. Mostly because this is the brand new palette. Not everyone has posted their looks yet. And I feel like the other two palettes, it's been been there, done that kind of thing. So I just wanted to show like what I did with them. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is pretty much exactly what I was wanting. Um, I'm going to take these two orangey shimmers in the Velma row and I'm going to use them both. The darker one towards the middle of the lid and the lighter one towards the front of the lid. Um, and then once I do that, I will come back and do my lower lash line. Okay, just like Glam White shimmers always are, these are freaking stunning like they're both absolutely gorgeous and they're both like no other shade that i have like the one in the middle has like a red base or like a pinky red base it's freaking amazing and then the one in the front half has like a pink like shift to it, it has like little pink in it oh, it's so beautiful so I am going to take the darkest purple down here, the darkest purple, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line, and then I'm going to buff that out with the more pinky purple shade. If you guys are interested in swatches, please let me know, because I was just figured that I'm the last person that everyone's going to see like testing things out so i'm just like most people have probably seen swatches already i don't really need to do that but if anyone is wanting swatches from me i am more than happy to oblige um also i did stick the lightest shimmer shade which is in the scooby row on my inner corner it is definitely a topper shade it has almost no like base color um it's just a lot of sparkle all right now i have two lej beauty eyeliners that i could use for my waterline i have scarlet which is red obviously and then I have creamsicle, which this looks like it's it's yellow, but it's it's actually orange. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I might just go. I think I might go with the orange. Also, I have an affiliate code with LJ Beauty. So if there's anything you ever want there, which her products are absolutely freaking amazing, um, 
my affiliate code is mermaid hair all one word um and that will be listed in the description below as well so i think i'm gonna do that and come back with the finished look all right this is look number one have you ever had a vision of like what you want and how you want something to go in your head and it actually just comes out exactly how you were picturing it that is this look for me this is amazing this is exactly what i had envisioned i don't know what made me want to put orange red and purple together but i did and here it is and i'm obsessed with it this is such a freaking stunning look first impressions are everything's been amazing so far this is only look number one so stay tuned i'm sure you'll see look number two in just a second but I did use the Velma lip kit because this has like an orange glitter gloss and just a nude, like an orangey nude lipstick. And I felt like it would be perfect, which I think it is. So on to look number two. Hi guys, welcome back to look two. I have to say, I did look one yesterday and I was obsessed like to the point i didn't want to take it off before i went to bed something about those orange shimmers were just amazing and i am really excited to dive into more of these shades and shimmers and fun stuff so i was really feeling this row of blues kind of the teals too in the Scooby row. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but I am wearing this blue and purple tie-dye that this row of blue would definitely really go with. But I do want to do something fun. Um, you know, I don't want to just go for the ordinary. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do. The funny thing is I'm pretty sure I have some like residual glitter from yesterday's look on my face still. <laughs> I love Flame Light's shimmer formula, but it definitely has some glitter that hangs out for the day. And I washed my face. I put toner and like moisturizer on and yeah, anyway, it's still there. So I want to do something fun, but I definitely have been in a little of like a, I don't want to say creative like rut, but I've been having trouble not just doing the same thing with different colors. So does that count as a rut? I'm not really 100% sure but so i don't know what i want to do today because i definitely want to keep it like you know fun and exciting but also give you guys ideas on what to do with this palette sorry if you hear, hear me like rustling through brushes i can't find the brush that i'm looking for like, I've been doing a lot of halo eyes. I've been doing a lot of, like, shadow liners. I've been doing a lot of my, like, go-to look. So, I could do a smoky eye, but that's, like, super simple. And I do want to get to use, like, more of the shadows. I am literally stuck right now if i just jump into it i feel like something will come about and it can't be too terrible so i guess i'm gonna go for it so none of these have shade names so i'm just gonna tell you which shade i'm using and i'm going to start off with the lighter blue in the his name is freddy right fred it's fred it's fred because freddy prince jr played him in the movies both of them just one i don't remember but i know i was like oh 
that's so funny, like, Freddy is playing Fred. But then in my brain, I was like, is the character's name Freddy? But I don't think it is. It's Fred. I'm pretty sure it's just Fred. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to my brain. Um, I'm going to use the lighter blue because there's a blue and then just like a navy in the red row. Okay, so I kind of just took the blue and like went a little crazy. Um, but this is one of those looks that I'm going to clean it up. Like it doesn't have to be perfect now because it's clearly not. Um, because it's just going to get like messier before it gets prettier. <laughs> that might have sounded stupid on my end, but I promise I know what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to take the navy blue and I am using the Glam Light Scooby-Doo brushes again. So I was just using the like blendy one. And now I'm using like the pencil one and I'm just going to put the navy like in the outer corner and I'm going to, um, I'm going to blend it out just to make the outer corner a little darker. Okay. Those shades blended so nicely into each other. I know it looks a mess. Trust me. I know. <laughs> so... I'm going to finish up the lid with some shimmers and then we're going to do the under eye, which I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do, but I think I have an idea. So I'm going to take, okay, I will show you because there's different, there's so many different shimmers. Okay. So I use this shade and the navy, and then I think I'm going to go with this one for the middle of my lid and then this one for the like front half of my lid or I should say front like third of my lid because I'm not I'm not putting it all over the front half okay you know what I'm just gonna do it and you'll see okay that is such a pretty shade holy moly I'm going to go in with the lighter shade. I'm speechless. That shade is also freaking stunning. Okay, I'm going to finish the other eye and then clean this up and come back and we're going to do the lower lash line. All right, we are back, we are cleaned up. I'm loving this so far. So I'm gonna take the dark teal that is in the Scooby row, and I'm gonna take the like liner angle brush that is part of the Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection. And I am going to put that on my lower lash line. All right, now I'm going to take the lighter teal that is right next to that in the palette in the Scooby Row, and I'm just going to blend that out. All right, I am loving this color on my lower lash line. I feel like it's making my eyes look super brown um, in a good way. Um, and I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be right back with the final look. All right, this is the final look. It was looking super mermaidy to me, so I had to throw a pop of purple on the inner corner, which I think looks so good. I did use the shade Sky um, LEJ Beauty liner on my waterline this beautiful blue shade it's stunning i'm 
obsessed with this. And then the lip is actually from the original Scooby-Doo collection. It is, it says Rut Row Lipstick. This was the most um, neutral of the three, I think. One was like a reddish and then one was darker, I think. I don't even remember. I just pulled this out and this is the exact one that I was looking for. So I put it on. Um, this palette so far um, is like giving me life and I'm so happy for that because like I said, I've been in like a little creative rut kind of. Um, My microphone cut out and I'm not quite sure what I was trying to say here. Hi guys, we are back for look number three. I am so excited because I've been loving this palette so far. It's amazing. Um, I am doing a 30 days of makeup makeup challenge for June. It is June 1st. Happy Pride. Um, so this look is going to be used for that. And the first prompt, which if you want to join in, please, 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 please do so. Um, it is the prompts are posted on my Instagram, which is at mermaid hair, donut care, donut like. So I would love for that. Um, so all the prompts are there. Day one is create an eye look with your, using your favorite color. And my favorite color is green. So I am going to be using the shaggy row. So let's get into it. All right. So I have primed my lids with the Milani eyeshadow primer. And I wasn't planning on it until just this second, but I think I might just do a halo eye. Because this has like a really good gradient. I'm going to go, just go for it. So I'm going to take the darkest green in that row with a pencil brush, the one in the Scooby-Doo collection. And I am just going to tap that on the outside and inside of my lid. This is one of those trust the process. I feel like every halo eye for me is a trust the process because it always be looking like crazy until it looks great. So, and it's always a little sloppy until, again, until it looks great. Um, I'm taking the lighter or the lightest of the green um, mattes on a fluffy brush and I am just going to blend the edges of this dark green. So I don't know about you guys, but June for me this year is literally the busiest month. And I don't even, I don't even know why. Like it's so busy. I have a million and a half things to do. Plus I plan on posting like so many things in June, like so many. Um, I wear rainbow every day for the entire month, at least one article of clothing, whether it be, you know, a bathing suit, socks, even underwear. I don't know. I don't care. A shirt, um, pants, shorts, shoes, anything and everything. I love rainbow. Um, so I do that for pride. But for some reason, also last year for Pride Month or June in general, we were traveling a little bit, but I was also not working like 40 hours a week. I was serving and only working maybe like 25 to 30 hours a week and then traveling and doing all that. So like this is the first june in a while that i'm working 40 hours on top of doing all of the other things that i want to do okay so i did take a little bit of like the medium green it's more of like an olivey green and i kind of like buffed out the edges of this dark green on the inside but i wasn't sure if it was going to work so i wanted to try it before <laughs> before i filmed this um which I do think it looks nice, but I am probably going to still put like shimmer over it. So, okay, so I'm going to take, there's two green shimmers. One is on the darker side, also a little bit more blue. 
leaning. It looks like it looks like it has some like blue um, flex in it, glitters, shimmers, whatever you want to say. And the other one is more like yellowy um, or like gold, whatever you want to say. Um, so I'm gonna take the darker one. This is it right here. You see what I mean? It's like a little blue leaning. Very pretty though. And I'm gonna put that towards the outer portion. Outer and inner, I guess. Because I'm gonna put the lighter one smack dab in the middle. This is a very pretty shimmer. It kind of went all right into the middle, so that's fine. I'm just going to put the other shimmer on top of it. Okay. So this is the sh second shimmer shade. See what I mean? How this is more like yellowy gold and this is more like blue leaning. Yes. They actually do look kind of similar on. Um, I'm going to do the other eye and kind of probably like build this up a little bit and then I will be right back and maybe clean it up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I totally forgot to show you what I was doing, but it's just the same exact mattes underneath and I did add a little bit of the shimmer. There is glitter all over my face currently. I did just try to wipe some off, but didn't work the best. Um... And I did take from my Luxby Aesthetics Celtic palette the shade Blessings. And I put that on my inner corner because I wanted to keep it green. And it just seemed fitting. And it was a nice light shimmer shade for my inner corner. Um, I am going to do some liner. Probably not wing. I think I'm just going to do like a tight line and my waterline. And then mascara. And I will come back with the finished look. All right, this is the final look. I love this. Again, these shimmers are just insane. True, true glam light perfection. I, I love it. I love it. My favorite color is green. So I might be a little biased, but I really just love this whole palette. I think it's absolutely stunning and amazing um so my first impressions which i've already mentioned quite a couple times because i'm just blown away are it's amazing if it's still available which i'm pretty sure it's only available for a short period of time i would snag this if you can in fact the entire scooby-doo collection new and old i love i love all of it i am just falling in love with glam light more and more every day i really just love this palette if i had to pick a shade that has been my favorite so far that's really hard but i might even say that it's this orange one this was in my first look and it was just so stunning on the lid but I have a lot more to come with this palette. This is going to be in my picking out of a takeout container. Um, I have to add that in there still, but it will be in there. And then I just, I want to use this like all the time. Should this be my companion palette for June? I don't know. But anyway, I would love for you to follow along in my makeup journey if any of this interested you at all, please follow me on TikTok and Instagram here, Mermaid Hair, Donut Care. My handle is the same everywhere. Donut, like, and then I literally have so much more makeup to play with. So more that's coming soon. Um, so please follow along because there's always more. Bye.